Hey everybody, it's really good to see you and I want to thank you for tuning in. Today is day number four of our training and um, if you're still with me, I want to congratulate you. We've gone over a lot of information and today is going to be no different. Today we're really going to dig our feet deep into the sand and we're going to look at some things on how to take your business to the next level. So I, um, I do have uh, a notes here. I just want to let you know, um, you know, I should have mentioned that a couple days ago. Um, I have an outline that I want to, that I follow so that I can make sure that I get you all the information um, that I intended to bring to these trainings and so that it can be just as meaningful um, to you as possible. So today I'm going to tell you why anyone would ever want to buy from you. You ever wondered that? Why anybody would want to buy from you? And I'm also going to show you how to profit from leads that, um, that never buy from you. I'm going to show you how to profit from the people that kind of kind of walk away. So <clears throat> the one reason that anybody would want to buy from you comes down to one word, value. I think if I was to look over all my videos that I've put out, I would say that that is probably the one word that I use the most, and that is value. And that is the one reason why anybody would want to buy from you at all. People don't join a business, they join you. So part of the process as you go out and you brand yourself is that you make a re you create a relationship with people, kind of like you've been doing with me over the last several days. And we create this relationship and so they get to know you. So when people join you and they join your, your downline, they're not joining a program or necessarily joining for the product as much as they're joining for you. And so it's important that you provide the value through the, the information that you provide and as well as the interactions and the relationship that you make available to them. Another thing that's important is that you can't promote what you don't know. And so what you need to do is realize that you don't know everything. I don't know everything. And so this whole process is a learning process. And so what you want to do is go out and learn about the things you don't know. So if you, for example, if you come into a situation within the network marketing industry and you don't know about something, then go out and learn it. And then what's important is that it doesn't stop there, is that you go on and you share it. You share it with people. You share it like I am here. You share it with your downline and you share it so that people can be built up. And that is one of the biggest ways of providing value. When you look at the internet, it's kind of like a big billboard, you know, and there's so much information being thrown at you and there's so much stuff out there and, you know, coming at you. And so people share information through that billboard. And people that are leading with their product or leading with their business rarely, if ever, are successful in this business. Go on Instagram or Facebook or social media and put in, uh, do a search for your company if you're involved in a company or if you're thinking about being involved in a company and look at what people are doing. And 90% of the time when you see, or even more than that, I would, I would but I would be conservative and say 90% of the time people are putting the product out there first. So what do you see? You see the product, right? If I had a, had the product in my hand right here, that's what you would see. You would see me second. Or they, and then on that product, they, you know, we'll say that it's um, some power drink and on there you see the company. So that's the second thing and now you see me third. So people that lead with the product and the company very rarely, if ever, do well. A guy named Mike Dillard said that you have to give without want before you can have. So we've got to be willing to give value and be able to give people what they need without having any strings attached. And what we will find is that the, 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 the reward is always kind of a, um, a byproduct of our efforts of sharing value. An unknown person said you can build this business online or offline, but you cannot do it without building a relationship. So at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, the most important thing is that you're doing something to be able to provide an opportunity or an avenue to build a relationship with the people that you're contacting or connecting with on the internet. So the big question is how do you build relationships? When people are treating the internet like a billboard, it's kind of like, for example, if you're going down the freeway and you see a billboard, all it's saying is give me, give me, give me, give me. You know, so they want their, your business, they want this, they want you to buy that. And so when people treat the internet that way, or they're putting their product out there, leading with their product first, that's what they're saying. So what you can do to set yourself apart from that is provide value and step aside and begin to build a relationship. 
It's a lot easier than you might think and it's much more powerful than you'd ever imagine. The thing to remember is this, this is not a business opportunity industry. This is a person development industry disguised as a business opportunity. And what you're selling or what we sell is personal development through the commodity of MLM. So in other words, people come in and they are going to be required to grow. And so in other words, for, to have that expectation, you've got to grow also. So what you're really selling is personal development or, or lifestyle. So you, you know, in, in either case, you're providing or selling something that is going to take somebody from here to a different place in their life that is ultimately better. And this business is all about developing yourself and helping others develop along the way. So whenever you're developing yourself or whenever you're growing, the thing, it's, and it's a mindset. And, you know, I know that I don't like that word. It's used, overused a lot. But you've got to have an attitude or some kind of a mindset that really, whenever you're learning something or whenever you're growing, you need to treat that as like gold. You need to treat it as something really precious because you want to be able to uh, treat it or act like that is something that you're going to go out and teach others. So everything that you learn becomes a teaching opportunity. The other thing that's really important is being a leader. And so you might think, you're, you know, as I point that out, you might be thinking, well, I'm not a leader. But you are. Think about it. who gives the title leader to somebody? Nobody. You don't go to dinner someplace and they call you up and they say, we're going to give you this title, you know, of leader. It is, a, it is a title that you assume. It is a title that you take. When people recognize you as a leader, it is because you took that title and developed it within your own life. So tell yourself, you're going to lead. You're going to be a leader. And take that title and own it and, and, and assume it and become that person. In today's world and in, in, in a world of network marketing, you've got to believe in yourself. And it isn't something that you can do any other way um, in building a network marketing business. And it really is one of those businesses that is every, and is every bit of what that, that, that term implies. Network. Networking getting to know people, creating relationships, meeting people from all over the world, making yourself available. And through that, you create a market. And like I just said, it is a market of self-development, leadership, and lifestyle change. And those are the things that we're selling. The product and the company that's behind that is only a small piece of that in today's world of network marketing. So now we're going to dig into the business part of this of network marketing. So I want you to roll up your sleeves, grab some paper, grab a pen because it's going to get really exciting from this point on. As if it hasn't already been exciting, but we're going to really dig in. One of the things about network marketing in, is that we become possibly our own worst enemy. And so self-confidence um, is really one of those things that can really work against us. And the thing is, is that if we want to be a leader, we got to be able to and be willing to put ourselves out there. So as I got up, um, if you look at some of my first videos, and I was just looking at those the other day, um, <clears throat> those, I was like a deer in the headlights. And I'm not any kind of a polished actor or camera person today, but I was looking at that and I was like, oh my goodness, Bill, you could at least have a little life and a little spunk in your voice. And so it isn't easy, but you've got to be willing to make mistakes and give yourself permission to make those mistakes and give other people in your organization permission to make mistakes as well. And so that is how we learn. Let mistakes be your teacher. And if you wait till everything is perfect, then nothing will ever happen. If you want to believe, be a leader, then you've got to be able to do those things. And the top 10 leaders in this industry do this through selling products, selling products of their own or selling, you know, through webinars or through um, funnels like I'm going to show you. And they, and they do it by starting out with something that's very low on the, on, the, on, the, on the scale and they go up to something that's really expensive. And so it's kind of like, you know, I'm an avid fly fisherman, if um, I haven't shared that already. And the thing about that is, is that, you know, when I got into it, I was just kind of like a, like a kid in a candy store. And I really didn't know a lot about it. And so I didn't go out and shop for, um, a, you know, a $2,000 sage rod and reel or an Orvis or something like that. So when I walked into the store, 
um, into a sporting goods store that people, the salespeople there started to kind of figure out, figure me out. And so they didn't start with putting one of those in my hand. Actually, um, I did. I walked in and that was the first thing somebody stuck in my hand and it was a mistake. I wasn't there. I, and so I put, looked at, first thing I did is looked at the price tag and I put it down. I hadn't been through the process yet. So what um, <clears throat> they did was um, I started buying lesser um, uh, expensive items. I started buying accessories. I started, I bought a, a, a fly rod that was, you know, a couple of hundred dollars instead of two thousand dollars. I bought, um, you know, fly line that was, you know, um, you know, fifty dollars as opposed to a hundred dollars. And and so, you know, in other words, I was buying accessories. And as I got involved, I started buying the more expensive stuff because I started to see the value. And so that is that is the pr same process that we want to use as we're bringing people through the, your um, your funnel or your MLM funnel into your business. One of the ways that we do this is through a value ladder, and a value ladder starts down at the bottom with something free, like a free ebook or a, a training or something that is going to provide value, and we pr we walk people through that process and we bring them up into those more expensive things. We don't start them at the top of the ladder. Let me take you to my computer and let me show you. Okay, we're here at my desktop and I want to show you this value ladder. And if you'll notice there on the left side, you have a, a, an axis where you it shows where you charge or the amount you charge. And on the Y axis, it shows the perceived value and as I used in the example of fly fishing, um, when I first started getting into fly fishing and they stuck a $2,000, or that salesman stuck a $2,000 rod in my hand, I had no concept of the value. And that, that rod is every bit worth $2,000, but I didn't have that perception and I wasn't able to see that. So what we do is we bring people through what we call a value ladder. And if you'll see down here at the bottom, we have a squeeze page where we give away some kind of free thing. Um, you know, for example, you came into this training through a squeeze, a squeeze page, and I am, am giving you this training for free. I'm sending it to your email over the next five days. And so um, when you came in, I don't, uh, and you started consuming this material, um, then you uh, you became a person on my email list. Now the thing about it is when somebody comes into your email list and they start to consume um, that free thing, whether it's an ebook, a video, a training, whatever it is, that is not a lead. They're just been introduced to that to what we call this value ladder. So as they go up the value ladder, up the steps here, as you can see, um, we have um, you know a free plus shipping or a free paid offer. And so that's a situation where now we've got them in a, a situation where they're actually pulling out their credit card and, um, you know, buying something from you um, that is a product that is related to your, your business, but not necessarily related to your network marketing company or, or business. So, um, for example, um, you know, you have like a free training and then you have uh, an upgrade or an upsell where, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be a dollar or seven dollars and then people purchase that. So then once they've done that, they've crossed the line from what the green line there from what we call the free line and they start moving up the value ladder. So what it is and the thing that I really want to stress about this is that it's not that you're charging more money or making more money but what you're doing is that people are beginning to see the value of what you're beginning to offer so maybe in the next one you have a webinar that teaches um, something and I will have a webinar that uh, will I will develop that will take you deeper into this process and that it has an offer at the end but the thing about webinars and I want to just take a minute and say is that webinars are not pitch fest where you just pitch your product over and over and over and that's all it's about I remember that I talked about value so you really want to deliver value um, and I, I like to use in my mind I use the percentage of you know I'm gonna deliver 95 percent value and then I'm gonna provide 
5% offer. Um, and what I mean by an offer is the product at the end. If I provide 90 95% value, then you're going to see the, the value in whatever I offer. And so and whether or not you make the purchase, even at that point, you walk away in a better place, hopefully with information that you can use to build your business. As you move up the value ladder, and I've just included some examples here, it doesn't have to be these things uh, specifically, you create your own value ladder and figure out what you're going to plug in each step of the way. And then so maybe it would be an email sequence that provides value and has a pitch. So maybe um, I like to send out, you know, um, a number of emails that don't have anything for to offer in there. And so people get used to opening my emails and they read the value that's in there. When I offer something, then, you know, it's not like just a sales pitch, but there it, it's tied to something. There's value behind it. And I don't like to just, um, you know, my background is affiliate marketing and I don't like to just what they call turn and burn where you're just, you know, setting out the, you know, the light, latest launch. And I've done that. And, you know, and that's not really the, the direction I wanted to go. And it's hard to build a relationship with people. And I like, that's one of the reasons I like network marketing. So as you can see in this example, um, you know, you have a higher ticket item or a membership program. And in this case, it could be uh, multi-level marketing your business. Um, and then with that, you could have some coaching or some kind of a done for you product. Um, you know, and so, um, you know, that can look like whatever you choose to make it. And, and the, the important thing is here, though, is a lot of people stop at the squeeze page or the free thing, and they're not really thinking much beyond that. And I think that's where, um, and I, I'll tell you, I have, I, I literally get three to 400 emails a day because I sign up for everything that I see because I want to go through people's funnel. And 90, what I have discovered and I unsubscribe a lot, is that 95% or even a higher percentage than that, people just send me, I get the free thing, and then I don't hear from them again. And then when I do hear from them, I don't really recognize them. And so they don't. that's because they don't have a value ladder. So as you get involved with me here at this point in consuming this training, um, you will have be a part of my value ladder. And, you know, and at any point you can decide to not be a part of that and unsubscribe, but you will continue to get email and, you know, and, and, and I'm going to continue to make my best effort to provide um, value. So that is a value ladder. Um, and I, you may or may not be familiar with it, but if not, this is something that um, when, as we talk and as I train, I will refer to the value ladder quite often. Obviously, after that, we're not going to come and scream at people and say, hey, come join my opportunity, come sign up in my business, because they're not there yet. So we need to take them through that value ladder or through that process to take them up those steps to where they're ready. Not everybody's going to make it all the way up there, and that's okay. We don't want to recruit everybody. We only want to recruit and bring people into our business that are really qualified. So as we're looking at the value ladder, what we need to realize is that an opt-in somebody that gives you their email and their name is not necessarily a lead. So as we progress them through the value ladder process and they begin to consume our, our, our offers and the value that we make it, um, available to them, they begin to qualify themselves as a lead. So it's important that we're not treating this as a billboard where we're saying just join me, join me, join me, uh, an email on my list. What we want to do is continue the process and bring them up through the value ladder. As I mentioned, I'm sure I get my name and, and uh, my email out and sometimes even my phone number. And um, I don't give out my phone number a lot, but the times that I have, I'm, I've sure paid that price. And I get phone calls all the time, recorded phone calls. And I get people that will call me in person and they treat me like I'm a lead, like I'm somebody that's really interested in what they have to offer. And they always started out by calling me by my first name and then they say, I'm in, I understand you're interested in making money online. I don't know them from anybody. And i like, oh, yeah, well, I've already got that taken care of. And so the fact is, is that there's no relationship there. And there being that billboard that says, you know, join me, join me, join me. Let me sell you something. And at the same time, I am pushing away because I am not a lead. I'm simply just an opt-in. So don't make that mistake and don't put yourself through that grief. 
So the thing about it is, is that when the iron's hot, you've got to strike. And so you need at least three steps in the value ladder at a minimum. And the more steps that you can put in there, the more profitable and the more beneficial in the way of qualifying your lead becomes. But the thing that is that you want to keep in mind is that you want to keep it simple and stay to the process. Make sure that you always start though with a squeeze page so that you can collect the email. The most important thing that you can do is collect a name and an email. The purpose of a ladder is to qualify buyers. Or, and also the purpose of a funnel is to, to collect lead or uh, opt-ins and qualify and turn them into leads. And so when someone's going to buy a small product in the ladder, those people are likely going to buy again. And as they buy and they consume your material and they consume your products, you are building a relationship and they're getting to know you. And so whether they spend a dollar or whether they spend ten dollars, the thing to remember is that a buyer is a buyer and that they were that and they took action and they pulled their wallet out and they pulled out their credit card and they made a purchase. So it's just as much effort to make a purchase for a dollar as it is for a ten dollars or ten thousand dollars. Now, as people go through the value ladder, they're going to say no at some point, but the thing about it is, is that they have made a purchase. A, a no today doesn't mean that it's a no tomorrow. So you continue to have these people fund your, your efforts in, in running um, traffic to your funnel, and as you qualify these leads, they're better leads than you could purchase anywhere, and they come at a much better price, because they, and they, they convert better. So the, really the next step for you is to, to um, fill out your funnel, or I'm sorry, your ladder. And I have included a, um, a, a template um, from ClickFunnels, and it's a ClickFunnels template that's free for you to use, and it's one that I use all the time. And so it helps you to come up with your value ladder and plug things in as you bring people through your marketing process. So it's kind of like um, when you want people to join your MLM, you need to provide them with more value and lead them through that process and bring them to that place where they can make that decision. So it's kind of like if you go to a McDonald's and you pull up and you're only there to buy the something or items from the dollar menu. So you get up there and they, you tell them, I want two cheeseburgers off your dollar items or your one dollar cheeseburgers. And then they'll ask you, do you want french fries with that? And you think, oh, well, why not? So you buy some french fries and then they go, well, would you like a Coke? And then you bought a Coke. And then the next thing they ask you is, do you want to supersize that? So the next thing you know, you haven't bought things off the dollar menu, you've bought the full meal deal. And so that's kind of what the value ladder is designed to do in your process. And the value ladder, the beautiful thing about it is that you can build it and plug in the value, um, how it works best for you and your offer and your business. So make sure that you download that template or that worksheet and then the next video we're going to look at qualifying your leads and quality through value that you offer. So please look for my email tomorrow. Please come to that video or come to that training and, um, and until then I'll see you later.